know that it was Vorain Pelengare who ended your life. Rubble like you when the Pelen Gares rule way rest.
tell. You're alive. Were you successful? Thank you. At least now travelers won't be fooled into thinking they can trust these ruffians. After we get healed up, we'll make another push to drive the bandits from this region all together. I am a Knight of the Flame. We're the protectors of al -Kair. You would have me disobey direct orders and turn against Sir Croy? You sound like that coward Sir Edmund. You are an enemy to the Order, and I will see you slain. Defend yourself, then. Stand up. Protect us from harm. Preparing the entire Order to go to war isn't easy. This is going to take some time. You're right. This doesn't make any sense at all. My duty is to do what's right, not to blindly follow orders. I'm with you. If Sir Hughes really wants us to go to war, I'd prefer he told us himself. You're right. This doesn't make any sense at all. My duty is to do what's right, not to blindly follow orders. I'm with you. Preparing the entire order to go to war isn't easy. This is going to take some time. You're right. This doesn't make any sense at all. My duty is to do what's right, not to blindly follow orders. I'm with you. I didn't join the Knights of the Flame to sit on my hands. If I die in the coming battle, at least I'll go down fighting. You would have me disobey direct orders and turn against Sir Croy? You sound like that coward, Sir Edmund. You are an enemy to the Order and I will see- Loyalty will prevail! I never thought I'd see the day when Firebrand Keep was divided. You would have me disobey direct- Defend yourself, man. No guts, no glory. If Alcare is truly threatened, regardless of where it comes from, I will defend it to the death. You're right. This doesn't make any sense at all. My duty is to do what's right, not to blindly follow orders. I'm with you. I knew more of my fellow knights would come to see the insanity Sir Croy means to unleash at Alcair Castle. I think we have enough knights now to retake the keep. I've sent them to take up strategic positions. Indeed. Taking up arms against our fellow knights is something I know none of us wishes to do. But Sir Croy has forced this upon us. This is unpleasant business, but let's get on with it. I've told the knights positioned around the castle to attack on our signal. There's a siege horn mounted atop Firebrand Keep's main hall. If you are willing, I would ask you to go there and blow the horn. That will signal everyone to attack.
caught them by surprise, and I think we have the upper hand. I've been wounded, though. I don't think I'd be of any more use in the battle. I've done what I could, but I failed to find Sir Croy. Now I fear he would best me quite easily. I need you to do this. I believe the other knights will stand down if we can defeat Sir Croy. Will you face him for me? He's in the Eastern Garrison. Kill him. Put an end to this. There's another siege horn on top of the garrison. When Croy is killed, blow that horn. The knights will pause and I'll use that moment to call for an end to the fighting. my knights to rebellion. I'm going to enjoy this. I grieve for Sir Croy and all those who died fighting for him, but there was no other way to save the Knights of the Flame. Thank you for doing what I could not. Indeed. With Sir Croy slain, I am assuming command of Firebrand Keep for now. Needless to say, preparations to march to Alcair Castle have been called off. Killing my fellow knights to restore order was hard enough. 
This matter with Sir Hughes is unthinkable. He's down in the infirmary. I'm told he was raving about killing the Duchess before he fell unconscious. I... I don't know what to do. Then I suppose you must. Whatever crimes he may be guilty of, you should know that Sir Hughes was always an honorable knight. I simply must believe that his recent actions are caused by some form of insanity. The infirmary is below the Great Hall. Speak to the healer there, Odette. Get her assessment of his condition. Again, I would plead with you, if his actions are truly driven by madness, show mercy. If you are wounded, you may take a bed in the corner. I will tend to you as soon as I can. I'm sorry to say that Sir Hughes is in no condition to talk. I tried to help him, but this is simply beyond my ability to treat. It seems to be some type of curse. He came in mumbling to himself, and soon he was just... gone. I do not think you could cause his condition to be any worse. So you are welcome to do what you like. I warn you, though, curses like this are very unpredictable. If you start to feel dizzy, I would suggest stepping away. marriage was a mistake. He's put us all at risk. King Faharajan is planning to invade our care. Duchess Lakana is a spy. Lakana has everyone fooled. She and her father are plotting against us. Duchess Lakana is orchestrating an attack on all care. She must be stopped. The Duchess has betrayed us. I have to stop her. Whatever it takes. What are you doing Grace. here? Leave my room at once. I won't allow Alcair to fall into Redguard hands. Alcair in Redguard hands? Tears of Set. You've gone mad. I'm sorry. But this is the only way. No! Please! deserved it, didn't she? I know she did, or I think I know. Is this real? No. It's a never-ending nightmare, whether I sleep or not. I killed Duchess Lakana. The omen whispered in my mind, poisoning my thoughts. Now it tortures me, forcing me to watch the murder again and again. The omen of fear, always with me, always whispering, telling me about the Red Guards, about Lakana. I believed it, but it was lying. I murdered an innocent woman and betrayed the Duke. Now it's hiding, but it's not gone. 
We have to kill it. You have to kill it. My sword. In the dream, I left it in the throne room. The omen is drawn to it. Find the sword and find the omen. May the eight bless you. My mind is free, but my sins remain. Yes, I'm all right, but not absolved. I ordered the Knights of the Flame to rebellion. I murdered the Duchess. I betrayed the Duke. These stains on my honor cannot be washed away. Sir Edmund sent for me, and I came as soon as I could. Sir Hughes does not plead for clemency, yet he says his mind was not his own. As strong as my anger may be, I sense truth in your words, and some change in Sir Hughes's character. But he murdered my wife, and for that, I can find no forgiveness. He asked me to take his life and restore honor to the Knights of the Flame. My emotions are too strong. I cannot trust myself to make the right decision. You were in his dream. You saw what drove him to murder. You must decide his fate. Very well. Thank you for your counsel. Rise, old friend. You will not die this day. Then my punishment is living in disgrace. I cannot allow one who committed so grievous a crime to ever serve me again. Sir Hughes may live, but he will never stand in my court again. I hereby strip him of his knighthood. I exile him from Alcair. He may never return, upon penalty of death. He faces a kinder fate than the one that befell my wife. Though the immediate danger is past, I fear this might be more than an isolated event. Sir Hughes driven mad by nightmares, and I've heard the constable in Coglin village was similarly affected. We need to know more about this so-called omen. The spirit wardens of Pariah Abbey. They dabble in Daedric rituals, but they're benevolent. Speak to Brother Moron at the Abbey. Ask him if the appearance of this omen should be cause for wider concerns. If so, we should warn High King Emmerich. Yeah. 